Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Tips with Heather. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to get a screensaver onto your Linux computer. So Linux is automatically set with a, a screen locker, but it's not a screensaver. So to change that, you go to your menu, then you go to Preferences, and you scroll down until you find the screensaver. You click on it, and it brings you to here. This is the default screensaver on Linux. But there is a lot of different screensavers to choose from, so you can change it to a whole bunch of different screensavers if you want. Uh, some of my favorite ones were Atlantis. Well, actually, this one was my one because they're always waiting for my screensaver to turn on just so they can watch the dolphins and sharks swim around on it. The next one is called GL Matrix. So scroll down to GL Matrix. So. So this one is like, you know the movie The Matrix, uh, in the beginning it has all the code running down the screen and stuff, which is kind of cool to have on your computer, you know? There's another one very similar to it, and it's called X Matrix, so it's going to be at the very bottom, and it's the X Matrix, but it actually looks like it's starting from the beginning of the movie, like on the title screen it's getting the, the messages and stuff. So that one was pretty cool, and the next one was, the next one is pipes, and basically what this one is, is it just has a pattern of pipes and connections and stuff that move around on the screen. I, I kind of like it because then it's just more of a calm movement, it's not super fast, or and it's not flashing your, and it's not making your eyes feel like you're gonna, cro like your eyes feel like they're crossing and stuff. And here's one that I found that is more for that kind of helps me out since I've been having, I'm doing a course in chemistry this year. So it gives a type of chemical and its name and the attributes to it and what it looks like and stuff. So that was kind of cool if you really enjoy science and stuff. And so, yeah, so those were my five favorite, my top five favorite uh, screensavers. But as I said, there's probably like over a hundred different screensavers right here that you can choose from. So now to set the delay for the screensaver, you go to go to settings at the top part, and then it says delay before starting the screensaver. Then you can choose how many minutes you want it to, how, how many minutes you want to, to wait before turning on the screensaver. I go about 10 minutes before the screensaver, and I like to lock the computer when put, put to sleep, so that my little sisters can't mess around on my computer when I'm not around, so. Then you can also go to customize and you can also change the time font and date font on the lock screen and screensaver. Um, you can use a custom date and time format and then it shows you this. I haven't looked too much into that and I don't want to mess up any code. Um, you can choose to always show the clock or not to. And then you can put in a little message if you want into so that when the screen is locked then it gives a little message and then or when you put it to to lock the screen from menu then it, and ask. So yeah, so there's a lot of different options on Linux and a lot of different screensavers and stuff. So so I, I hope this video helped you guys out, particularly for if you're moving over from a Windows 10 to a Linux. A Linux is different from a Windows 10, so it can be difficult to get around. It, co it took me at least a couple days to get used to all the different features on Linux. So yeah, so I hope this video helped you guys out and you enjoyed watching this video. And thank you for all the likes and subs that we've been getting. It's really awesome to see our channel grow. And we love to hear from you guys. And I'll see you next time with more tech tips.